Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Keddington News New Year Special. Later, events coming up in January to kick off 2017. But first, what Keddington got up to in the festive season of December 2016. And it started with the Ketton Players Panto of Mother Goose. Now, I have to declare an interest as I was in the Panto as the Greedy Squire's henchman and I played the backing tracks for the songs. And my dad, Peter Upton, was the director of the whole thing. But I have to say, this was one of the best pantos we've done for quite a while. And the whole cast was justly proud of it. Mother Goose is a panto very much based around the titular dame. Now then, Peanuts, will you point out Australia for me on the map, please? Very good. Now then, Mary, who discovered Australia? <laughs> we were lucky to have Carl Duffy taking on a role that requires a wide emotional range while keeping the audience laughing the whole time. And of course, some big musical numbers. Hello, Goosey. Well, hello, Goosey. It's so nice to have you back where you belong. Ranged against her were Greedy Squire, played by Lawrence Frill, with a great deal of stage charisma in his first show with the Ketton Players, aided by henchmen Sam and Ella in the form of Ketton Players regulars Ella Roswell and, well, me. And very amusing we were too. During the party, I will pretend to be madly and passionately in love with Mother Goose. Rather you than me. <laughs> well, it won't be easy. But I will be successful, and the goose will be mine. And then we make our exit? Exactly. How exciting. <laughs> oh, please stop. I think he's had un earth. Un earth! French! How exotic. Enough, enough, enough. No, 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 sir. Ella's already cracked that one. <laughs> I think we better stop. He's getting exasperated. Of course. Mother Goose had her own allies, her son Silly Billy, played by veteran performer Sue Brown, her daughter Jill, and Jill's intended Jack, played by two of the player's younger regulars, Ella Ketteridge and Shay Williams. Of course, Panto's not Panto without a pile of magic. This year, in the form of Fairy Paxo, played in cheeky style by Jill Davis. Excuse me, excuse me I say, what do you think you're doing? <coughs> I'm an usherette, just doing my job. Well, would you mind doing it a little quieter? I am trying to act. <laughs> Not doing a very good job from where I'm standing. Oh, silence! The Demon King, performed by Andy Brown, who gave a masterful performance, despite having been brought in at the last minute. The Queen of Gooseland, played regally by Celia Branwell, and a seven-foot goose called Priscilla, brought brilliantly to life by Matthew Russell, who has a remarkable knack for this kind of thing. Of course, we can't forget our young chorus, a really talented bunch who we're hoping to see more of in the future. It really was an excellent show, a fact demonstrated by the sudden spike in ticket sales after the first performance. A sure sign word has got out of just how good this show was. Ketton players have been known to win awards for their pantomimes before, and maybe this year it's time again. We shall see. By the time we got to the last Monday before Christmas, Keddington was well into the festive spirit, and the traditional night of cow singing hit the streets. It's a big village, and covering it all on one night would lead to a lot of sore throats, so each year the carolers go around a different part of the village. This year, it was Westwood Dills that was treated to a wide range of carols and two different versions of While Shepherds Watched. As they went, a fine collection was made for the Children's Society. 
I didn't film it for you, which I admit was a bit of a shame because this year's singing was really good. So here are some Christmas lights instead. We ended up at the Barnardiston Arms for a late supper and I really must thank them for the delicious soup that they laid on. It was thoroughly Christmas. So, Keddington settled in to the Christmas season and soon we'll wave goodbye to 2016 and head on into 2017, possibly at the Barnardiston Arms New Year party. So, what have we got to look forward to in January 2017? Well, the village's first quiz night of the year will be the Keddington Garden Society annual quiz on Tuesday the 3rd of January at the Royal British Legion Hall. Entry fee is £5, which includes a ploughman's platter. The fun starts at 7.30. January also has a return to the Keddington Community Centre of Cash Bingo. That will be on Friday the 13th. Unlucky for some you might say, but since it's Friday the 13th for everyone, I guess that balances it all out to make it fair and indeed fun night for all. Doors open at 7pm with eyes down at 7.30. Entry is £2 and there will be a fully licensed bar. Finally, an event for which I don't yet have a date. We started this episode with the Ketton Players Panto, and not only was it great fun for the audience, but for those on stage as well. I know there were a few of you who said you were thinking of joining the Ketton Players, either to give acting a go or to help in other ways. Well, here's a very good time to give it a try. Ketton Players' next production will be the stage version of Terry Pratchett's novel Weird Sisters. It's a comedy collision between Macbeth, Hamlet, Sleeping Beauty and the brilliant characters of the Discworld, all adapted for the stage by Terry Pratchett's longtime collaborator Stephen Briggs. It promises to be an excellent show, but that is if we can get it on stage. You see, this show is going to be choir, the biggest cast Ketton players have had for quite some time time which means we're really looking for a few new members to join us so what better time to come along and give it a try as i said i don't have a date for the auditions just yet but keep an eye on the normal keddington facebook pages or watch this youtube channel and i'll try to do a special update for you as soon as i have the information indeed why not subscribe to this channel on YouTube to catch that or the next episode of Keddington News. Or you could check out www.keddingtonnews.co.uk where fresh videos appear as soon as they go up on YouTube. Perhaps if you know somebody who might be interested in any way with, with any of these events, um, you might like to share this episode with your friends. I'm sure there's some kind of button you can press to do that. And well, that wraps, wraps up this episode and indeed this year. So, um, have a very happy 2017 and until then, cheerio! <laughs>